All right, today we're doing something that we've never done before. We are riding our bikes from Bella Vista, Arkansas to Fayetteville and back on the Northwest Arkansas Razorback Greenway Trail. This is it. Hey, Mary Catherine. It says this way. We're starting to feel the heat a little. You almost wrecked. Kind of discouraged right now. We also just heard thunder. It is starting to rain. We're not going anywhere. The furthest we've ever ridden before is 40 miles. Today will be about 70. Yikes. secret combination. Gotta start the watch or it didn't happen. Three, two, one. Blast off. Here it goes. The first pedal. Here we go. Of the journey. Whew. Goodness. That's not good. All right, so it says trail closed. We've gone a whole mile and a half. We saw a runner come from that direction, like where it says the trail's closed, and we saw somebody run towards that direction right past the trail's close sign. So we're gonna keep going and hope that it's fine. Somebody on a bike over there, on the other side. We are not going to be able to go past that gate, but we can see people on the other side where the road is fine. But how do we get there? We will not be going that way. All right, we think we have an alternate route planned. We're gonna go check it out. And we're off. I already hit a bug. Gross. Lots of runners out here this morning. We have ridden part of the Greenway before, but not the entire thing. And we certainly haven't done the entire thing out and back. Well, that sucks. Plan B uh, is also a no-go because the bridge here is also destroyed. You wanted to be on the other side of this map. You're right. Yes. Yes, probably the best place to enter the trails in Bella Vista is down off of A Street because even if you go on the other side, there's another part that they've closed down too. Oh, okay, sounds yeah, good. No That's our plan. Well, I thought for some reason, the next time I would see the van, we would be 70 miles down on our bike trip, but. We're a whopping 3.29 miles in. That's all right, let's go find A Street. So we went a couple miles south on 49 and came into downtown Bentonville. Mary Catherine wore her helmet the whole way driving, so. It's kind of hard to get my hair in it. <laughs> you look like a goofball. <laughs> so we're gonna jump on our bikes and head towards Fayetteville. The trail is literally right there. Riding the Greenway, take two. Are you ready? Sometimes it's hard work pulling this team all the time, but someone's gotta do it. He does have more weight in his backpack than I do. A lot of road work around here right now. 
We're riding through a lot of buildings that are, they belong to Walmart. So cool fact about Bentonville, if you've ever heard of Walmart, which is the world's largest big box store retailer, they're actually home office in Bentonville, Arkansas. And we're riding by one of their largest offices right now. That's it over there. I've actually been inside. It's just like miles and miles and miles of like offices and they've got like a studio in there where they can film stuff. Pretty cool. We're in Walmart country up here. Bentonville has a farmer's market on Saturday mornings that looks really, really awesome. We just passed it. So Bentonville, for the most part, has a really nice paved bike path, but there's a lot of intersections that you have to go through. Wow, there's a lot of intersections I have to stop at. Or you gotta press the button and wait on traffic. Wait. 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 Sometimes we don't wait. Just kidding, we're going. They're doing a lot of construction up here, and we're on a detour right now. There are signs, and they say Razorback Greenway detour. Uh-oh. This is it. Hey, Mary Catherine. It says this way. I literally just passed a sign that said Razorback Greenway Detour straight. And TJ's like, you're going the wrong way. He's probably talking to his camera back there about how I'm doing this wrong. Mary Catherine just has never ridden this before and has decided that she knows where she's going, even though this is the way. This is the way. This is the way to go. He was up here like a few weeks ago and he rode this section of the trail. So he has done it more recently, but I'm just following the signs. Could have changed. I guess it's gonna be a battle of the wheels. I'm gonna give in and go find her because if I don't, even though she's wrong, she's gonna get mad at me. He has a tendency to think he knows everything. Aha, there's the turn left sign. I hope he's behind me. I should probably stop and see. She is nowhere in sight. She just went it and left me. But I guarantee you, if I had done that to her, she'd be mad at me for the rest of the day, for sure. I think he's coming this way. Yep, he's way back there. That sign back there did say the Razorback Greenway was this way. All right, we are on the Greenway now. It says it on the concrete. We're on the Greenway. All right, so maybe she was right a little bit. I'll give her this one. Here's the deal. Today is gonna be a really long ride. My goal is to take this 10 miles at a time because I can do 10 miles at a time. When we get into Fayetteville especially, it's probably gonna be very hilly and we need to train on some hills. It'll make us better, but it'll be hard. Long term over short term, we can do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got sweat in my eye. Oh my gosh, that burns. Wow, there's some low hanging trees. Oh, the butter biscuit. That place is good. We are moving and grooving. I love seeing the differences in people out here. There's like people dressed in like khakis or there's this one guy in jeans on a walk, which is like fine, it's your walk, you do what you want. And then there's like these serious cyclists that have all of the hardcore gear. Oh look, here comes a serious biker. Yeah, we should get out of his way, he's moving. We just passed a sign that said 18.4 miles to Fayetteville. We're at seven and a quarter. Hey, your back tire's looking a little low. Ah, a bee, a tunnel. Something smells like barbecue and it smells amazing. <laughs> TJ's singing. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. That was close. Uh-oh. I'm not sure we're on the right trail. That did not say Greenway. It said something else. This is so frustrating. Are you stopping? Yeah, I was trying to see that sign. If you don't ride that close to me, you won't have that issue. <laughs> There's a sign in the middle of that path that says Greenway. Oh my gosh. This is one of the issues with this like trail system is there's so many like offshoots and Y's in the road and different options that it's hard to know which way to go. But that sign did say Greenway. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? Gears are doing something weird. <gasps> that was a big bug that got on me. There's this cool sign back there that said, it was an electronic sign and it said the number of cyclists that have come through today and the number of pedestrians and the number of cyclists that have come through 
so far this year. There's already been like 150 cyclists today and it's not even 9 a.m. 10 miles, 15 and a half miles to Fayetteville, but the trail head is on the other side of Fayetteville, so there's like 25 more miles till that. We just passed the Panda Express. It's nine o'clock in the morning, but I could definitely go for some Chinese food right now. I'm getting hungry. Can we stop at the, the bench? It's even in the shade, Break time. First break of the ride. Holy moly. Mary Catherine has made these bags of snacks with stuff in them for the whole day. You can see like on this one, it says hours one and two. So I get to eat everything in this bag for the first two hours. Nothing more, nothing less to keep my energy levels up. There's certain like protein, carbs, and sodium we need to be consuming each hour, doing something this long. And so that's how I decided what goes in each bag. Snack time. What's in bag number one? Bag number one has these gluten-free granola bars. They're dark chocolate. And then these lemon cookies. We should be consuming three grams of protein an hour, 60 to 90 grams of carbs an hour, 250 milligrams of sodium, but more is better an hour. And this bag has three grams of protein, 55 grams of carbs, 230 milligrams of sodium. So just slightly under on all those, but close enough. We just passed like an entire Brady Bunch family and everyone had their bikes. The smallest one was in a little bike seat on dad's bike. That's what it's about right there. Biking with the family. I'm starting to feel the heat a little. If we keep moving, it's okay because there's a breeze. When we stop, of course, that's different. They have these water stations and bathrooms on the trail, which is super nice. So right now we're headed through a little town called Lowell, which is in between Bentonville, Rogers, and Springdale. And it's peaceful out here. There's a lot of farmland out here. I like Lowell, very peaceful. And it smells like cows. I dang near wiped out. Oh no. You almost wrecked. I was turning and slowing down at the same time. There was a car coming and we had to cross the street and my back tire just slid. I put my foot down and caught myself, but whew, that was the first time that's happened. It was a sharper curve than I anticipated. And because I got there earlier than TJ, because I was way ahead of him, and I almost fell over, the car stopped and then let us go by first, but now he's way ahead of me because he didn't have to get off his bike. Another different thing with this ride is I've never ridden with the pack on my back, and I'm glad we are. I have a couple camera batteries. I think I have the drone and snacks so we don't pass out. But the cool thing about that is that it just gets lighter and lighter as we go because we eat the snacks. Also, my handlebar thing wrap is coming off, so I'm gonna have to get some tape. But what color handlebar tape should I do? It's like all the good cyclists have handlebar tape so i feel like i've officially been initiated now that i need the handlebar tape i'm part of the cyclist crew like a real cyclist i was thinking hot pink something bright and girly mile 20 well it's only like mile 15 for us Oh, look at this big old hill. Oh gosh, that is so freaking steep. Wow, walking the rest of it. Oh, TJ's still on. I'm not gonna make it. Look at him. <sighs> Almost there. Almost there. Yes, I made it. Uh, it's probably a bad idea. I'm supposed to conserve energy. I don't know where Mary Catherine is. There she is, I see her. Wow. Whew, that was tough. <laughs> Gotta put air in my tires. Feels like I'm riding through sand. TJ's filling up his tire with air. It was just getting a little low. And this really nice guy just circled back to ask if we need any help. You need a hand or you got it? I got it. I just was running low. And so I had to fill it up. Gotcha. All right. Have a good ride. Thank you. You too. What a nice guy. And then he went on his way again. How kind.
Oh, Maybe I should have asked that guy for help. <laughs> it's not sealing. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, in our two to three bag, we have 15 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbs, and 280 milligrams of sodium. It's good stuff. This just in, Operation Find Water. I have zero water. It's a life or death situation. Well, I just realized that I never restarted my watch from the last break. Let's see how far bad I'm off. How many miles have we gone? 17. She says 17. Mine says 12. That sucks. Kind of discouraged right now. And I don't want to put this on the camera, but that's what we're doing here. I'm waiting for TJ at the top of this hill. I'm all by myself. I can just see more hills. Oh, by myself. That's the hardest part. Is like going the direction we are right now, overall, we are climbing. I mean, it does this, but like overall, the end of this is higher than the beginning. So when we go back, we'll be losing more, which is nice. Oh, by myself. But right now, it is killing me. Okay, some water. <sighs> my chain, my chain just locked up. All right, <sighs> nothing like stopping in the middle of a hill and having to start again, going uphill. <sighs> the heat is starting to get me. We are going slow today. We found one. Ooh. It's hot. Mm. It's not very cool, but it's cool enough to get us to somewhere with cold water. It's like drinking bath water. All right, now Operation Water has now turned into Operation Find Cooler Water. Operation Find Cold Water complete. We stopped here at this place, Venn Mart, really nice people. I got two giant waters so we could fill up our water bottles and then drink the rest, but then I had just a little bit more left. And so I dumped it on me and now I'm soaking wet with cold water. It was kind of shocking at first, but it feels so good. All right, let's keep rolling. So, uh, right into this situation. There we go. Oh, it feels amazing in here. Saving our energy and walking the hills. We are about three and a half miles from the end of the trail where we will stop and eat lunch and then turn around and go back. My pace right now is quite a bit faster than TJ's. I can see him now, but I'm waiting on him before we cross. He's doing great. He's just going slower. I hope my faster pace does not come to bite me in the butt later. Oh, I want to go jump in that waterfall. Uh, I'll try to get as far as I can go. Oh, we'll and that's it. Uh, here we are again. Do we go this way? Or do we go that way? It's not marked. Well, if you blink, you'll pass it. There it is. Zero. Mile zero of the Razorback Greenway here in Fayetteville. It's like right here in the middle of this turn if you keep going it goes another four miles on another trail i cannot imagine that right now you ready to go back to bella vista i'm ready to get some lunch smoothie bowls we stopped in walmart to get a couple things and we're wearing our helmets we look absolutely ridiculous and we don't even care i do not feel good right now How's your pickle? It's so good. We took the whole jar. We probably won't eat the whole jar, but we might. So we've left Fayetteville and we're in Springdale now, headed back and we're trying to make it from point to point for our sanity. Our first point was Lake Fayetteville. We passed that, went around Lake Fayetteville, took a small break. Our next point here is the Venn Mart that we stopped at on the way up here. We're gonna stop there and get some cold water. 
Oh my gosh, there it is. We made it. It's really hot out here, so I thought I'd use the very end of this water that won't fit in my water bottle to dump on myself so that I stay cool. It's gonna be so cold. Oh, oh my gosh, that one was colder than the first. <laughs> Take your breath away. Yeah, oh, feels good. Man, there is something magical about that Venmar. I feel like a whole new person right now. I feel like a new person. Wow. Also, we have like the whole entire place to ourselves now. Like nobody's out here because why would you be out here in the heat of the day? That's dumb, but we're doing it. The perks of that is that we get the whole place to ourselves. We made it to Lowell, getting close. Getting close to our next rest stop. Looking forward to that. All right, we're stopping at this come and go. That's gonna be our stopping spot in Lowell. All right, we've got 12 miles until we're back at the van. Last little bit. That looks like it might rain. And we have like, bug. We have like 11 miles to the van. So hopefully it does not rain. I don't remember this section of the trail at all, but that says that's a mile marker. So I guess we're going the right way. There's some sprinklers on back there. We wanted so bad just to just drive through them. One thing about Lowell, it's relatively flat. Thanks Lowell. It's so quiet out here, especially compared to this morning. I'm not gonna be able to sit down tomorrow. This right here is literally one of my favorite signs on this entire trail. So that means we're about to go downhill. Oh yeah. Things I'm already looking forward to, a shower. Also, I just want like a giant salad for dinner. Cold veggies after backing in the heat today, it'd be perfect. We have 10 miles left and I just asked TJ, then why does 10 miles feel like the longest? It feels like 100 miles is in front of us right now. And he said, don't think about it being 10 miles. Just think about getting to cross church, which is the next kind of like physical checkpoint. It's just helping mentally. I just blew by Mary Catherine in that intersection back there. Get ready for the mouthful. Here she comes. On your left. Nine miles left. Eight miles left. We're in Rogers. We've made it to our Rogers checkpoint, which is Cross Church. And there's a lot of uphill from here to Bentonville, but we're closing in. This is the final stretch. All right, so it's 4th of July weekend. It's about dinner time. A lot of people are lighting up their barbecue grills. Rogers gets the award for the best smelling section of the green wave. And my mouth is watering. Seven miles left. We're down to six miles. It's starting to feel close. Five miles left, four miles left. I am digging this cloud cover but it does potentially hold an issue. The clouds got in front of the sun, so now it's not as bright outside, and our bike lights died like two hours ago. And so no one can see us. Hopefully we won't have any issues. But we also just heard thunder, so that's not good. It is starting to rain. If you know anything about road biking, you know it's not super safe to be doing this in the rain. So hopefully we finish quickly. Please hold off, we're almost there. We are literally a mile from the van and it's just raining. A little bit of rain has turned into a lot of bit of rain. Going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so my brother and his fiance happen to be like right up the road. Um, they live like 20 minutes away, but they're really close right now, so they're gonna come pick me up to go get the van, and then I'm gonna come back and pick TJ up. He's gonna wait here with the bikes. There he is. All right, 
up by myself, hanging out with the bikes. So Mary Catherine comes back with the van. We don't get anything wet that's not supposed to be wet. Wow. We have to go to the nearest Planet Fitness ASAP. ASAP. Y'all thought the video was over, didn't you? Well, we're back. Sorry we didn't film anything else after the ride because it was kind of chaotic trying to find a Planet Fitness that was still open and we were exhausted. Um, but before we end the video, we have one last thing we need to do. We have a tent to give away. We have literally been carrying this tent around in our van. It's never been used for the purpose of this giveaway and we finally are doing it. Yes, so if you missed the video uh, about this, we actually got stickers printed for our first thousand subscribers and we sent them out to the people that um, sent us their email and their address and then those people posted them online and of everybody who tagged us online, we picked a winner for this tent. Woody Dotson, congrats. And thanks for your continued support of our channel. We're gonna send you this tent. Hope you enjoy it. If you already have a tent, you don't need this tent, then feel free to gift it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's appropriate, right? Yeah. Regifts? Do you guys do regifts? I don't know. I mean, if it's not opened, that's just like kind. Yeah. Share the love with someone else. We'll see you guys in the next video. Also, if you're just now joining us, feel free to check out this playlist here to watch from the beginning. And if you like this video, then you might like this video too. Check it out. That was really good. That was good. <laughs> okay, for real though. See y'all in the next video.